to the other side? To the to the down? Hold on. How do I okay. Dan you figure out it's crazy like gesture stuff. Um No. Dude, where it is? Where, where, where is it? Anyway, we can take another question while I'm, I'm pulling this yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Dan, Dan can pull it up. Um, also, translations. That's the that's the other awesome thread that like just Mr. Zyx completely has, and and also on the involvement front, just triaging feedback, because um, there's there's just stuff that's like. Like, for example, Kevin Klein was like, you need to pay attention to this. There's, like, lots of people who are, like, upset about this, and, and then that becomes a priority. Okay, next question as Dan tries to save his photo. Maybe you should cub it. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, hi. Hey. Uh, what do you think, or how do you think uh, Google Plus will be affecting the diaspora distributions and how, what can we do in order to to uh, make this uh, open user information uh, better in well yeah, fighting yeah. versus Google nope. Plus and the Facebook and Twitter so 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 no no I mean plus came out plus is plus is awesome um, but the reason, I mean, plus is awesome in some ways. They've done, they got lots of things right. Um, we both share some some similarities. Um, as far as um, as far as how it affects diaspora's development, um, so right now, uh, plus is also another monolithic social network where it's centralized. I think I think on some fronts, Google will Google will probably be the first. Of these monolithic social networks to to join a federation, if any, um, because they sort of they like to see themselves as pro open. I still sort of I'm not totally happy with all of my data living on other people's turfs, um, but I so so on, on our end we like our next sort of release marker is to like start getting start churning through our giant invite lists and but that and also doing outreach for example there's no Mexican diaspora installation like there is a German one hint hint nudge nudge someone should do it and become a local celebrity for it because literally Dennis Schubert goes to conferences and speaks about it as an authoritative figure um, and so we together as as the as the universe of, of people who care about open things I think I think we will simply just j will out innovate them because large corporations are boring. They just sort of um, they just they stagnate and and doesn't matter how hard they try or how much millions they pour into all of these things. They will like like no one is as passionate about reshare on plus as they are passionate about reshare on diaspora so I mean continue spreading the word continue inviting people let me know at the end of the talk if you guys need invites I will give them out freely and and the other interest you can invite as many people as you want once you're on it diaspora is federated so there are installations that are open uh, like there's one called diasporic um, diaspora dot org. Um, there's also uh, Jerospora dot de. Yeah. Uh, we can list lots, them out. There's lots of other ones. Pod. There's just search pod up. Or if you search pod up on your favorite um, search engine, you will get a not necessarily like just a, a web page with the list of all the pods and their up times and uh, when was the last time they updated. And so, so I think I think. Doing local meetups about issues and sort of st spearheading those efforts, because um, we can only sort of we're we're happy to like to to help out getting those initiatives going. But but it's super helpful. Like uh, the the thing that a friend of mine always says is, don't ask for permission, just do things and ask for help, right? So so whatever if if you think of a clever way that that like you think it will spread diaspora, do it. And, and ask for help, um, but, 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 but also if there's things you need from our end, 
um, or from the ends of like because I like if you're interested in spinning up meetups or or figuring out how to connect I don't know design students with open source or 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 many of these things um, feel free to ping us we'll definitely like help out in whatever do at least do the introductions to introduce people to relevant people to because because there's yeah because right now we're sort of the connector of that graph but that graph should be way more distributed um, okay uh, one more comment mm -hmm. um, uh, well can you have you ever thought about uh, integrating other like Google uh, services like well, all of all our data is in Google, mm -hmm. like Reader and Calendar and Contacts. Uh, has Diaspora think about having all these all these cool features Just, uh, pull it for in. Uh -huh, and getting them federated like email? Yeah. So yeah. so so we so in terms of contacts, we're going to be building. So we, right now we have an invite your friends from Facebook feature. Um, we will build a Google Contacts inviter in the near future. Right now you can sort of propagate what you post on Diaspora to Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Google Plus doesn't have APIs right now. Um, but we think that sort of our development muscles are, and, 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 and we're totally welcome if someone else wants to build that part of it. Um, but the development muscles would be better spent building things that help people create on the Diaspora and uh, sort of provide more incentive for people to create things on Diaspora because that way it's sort of like there's a use case for why people go to it rather than it just synchronizes but we're totally sort of open yeah but like um, something that would be awesome is like you know right like maybe that's like an itch that like that's like bugging you right like you need your Google contacts on Diaspora right yeah. right now like well I think I, it will be cool for diaspora to no. have to have I, I think my diaspora email uh, my elder federation email and I, I, everyone sharing the only the service and not the domain right? not everyone yeah. has a gmail or a hotmail absolutely but any any other email and sharing it with yeah. the, awesome the, the social oh. model and the okay. context and the so calendar That's i guess to answer your question right like google uses like um they use like they use protocols right and like with diaspora like we're not trying to reinvent like these whole different protocols like you know um, end goal it would be awesome if your contacts were say like LDAP right you can just tap into it like you can tap into your diaspora like an LDAP server and get all your contacts and like export them as V cards and stuff right like that's super awesome like so Yes, we're trying to build like if we do do some sort of calendar app esque thing, like we would be using. I think the standard is like CalDAV or something. Yeah. So you can you know go back and forth. We don't want to, we don't want to like reinvent protocols because like there are protocols out there and they're like made by really smart people and it's better. It's better in chat like Jabber solves chat. Like nobody has to yeah. like reinvent that, right? Yeah, we're not gonna okay. reinvent chat. You're so able to chat with your aim contacts or your. Yeah, so like when we built chat, I actually there's uh, an Italian guy working on chat. Um, he got like a, a grant through Google Summer of Code, I think, yeah. to work on uh, integrating video a video chat and an XMPP server into Diaspora, yeah. into an installation. So that would be cool. So like, you know, I love using iChat, so I just want to use my Diaspora thing and I can chat with whoever. So like, yes, okay. definitely Thanks. on the same page. Hi, hello. Um, well, I just want to ask, uh, ask you about scal scalability. Uh, sorry? What's the Scaling. Scaling. Yeah. Scaling. Yeah, because you show us a model, a distributed model, that mm -hmm. if you saw all of the effort on the private, well, the people who wants to build, build up a server farm or something like that, but why they will put up that that farm servers, well, I mean, they don't get some profit. They don't get some something. Yeah. So, 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 as far as you're saying, um, having large installations sort of dis defeats the purpose of being distributed. Well, in some it, ways? it will be difficult if you don't have a financial uh, model. That's true. That's true. Um, so there's 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 two parts. I mean, there's 
at least there's definitely the donation model that David Morley is using, um, and is, is, is like eventually we'll also do the same thing. Also, I think the end goal is, or I would what I would personally like to see is Evan Moglen when in his speech he gave this grand plan of a freedom box, which is essentially this this router like computer. So, so everyone has routers that provide Wi-Fi at your house, but right now those routers are really sort of too simple to do anything on. But, but you could have a little portable computer that does all the same things the router does, but could also host, for example, a diaspora install or, or be your telephony service to other people with those things, or also encrypt all of your email, provide a firewall to all of your computers. So I would, I would like to move all of those things to the edge of the, of the network, i.e. to not necessarily to the homes all the time, but if it's simple enough that the person doesn't have to think about it, then I would like to move it there. I think slowly it will sort of dissipate that way. Um, but I think like uh, to make the analogy like with other federated systems, right? Like email, right? Like Yahoo has email and they serve up ads. Kind of shitty, mm -hmm. but like they have like a huge like swath of people on Yahoo Mail, right? Like millions of people. And they profit through ads, right? So that's not necessarily something I would sign up for, but um, some people might be okay with that. Um, you know, that's, that's an example of somebody, like an entity, a large entity spinning up, you know, a large federated, you know, server cluster but, thing. But the, 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 so, so, so there's two parts. There's the choice is there for the user to sell themselves out if they want to, which like which sucks, but but we can we can mitigate the sort of we can we can establish sort of privacy friendly guidelines for for the ecosystem, and eventually when we have a web of trust, we can just say, I as a user will just like not send anything to people that sell my data who are not my friends necessarily, right? If that makes sense. Um, so so we will sort of in some way, because right now everyone who runs them, they're sort of they like completely aligned with our beliefs, completely sort of are for the open web, are for giving users the control and the power to to move and to do all these things. But once we have bad actors, we'll deal with them as distributed systems have dealt with them before. Um, but 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 yeah, I'm sort of I'm not totally scared about large entities spinning them up as long as people can move away from them. That would be good. That would be good. It would, it would, yeah, it would, if it drives the amount of users on the network, and if those people can then move elsewhere, I think net positive. Um, but as far as sort of large entities being super creepy, um, I, th that's, a, that's, a, that's definitely sort of an issue we can address once we get to it. We sort of, we don't have that issue currently. One more question is about um, when you generate content in within diaspora, and the, as far as I know, it is uh, released on Creative Commons license company. Uh, the content we don't have a licensing at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, not we don't we don't have any sort of clause that says it's released Creative Commons license. We can sort of. Well, I personally, we have not thought about like the implications, both positives and negatives, of doing that. Um, but that's definitely something we can think of, and like uh, brainstorm on later. I don't know. It's like um, we're actually actively working on that stuff right now. Like um, there is some guy, some lawyer guy, you know, doing his thing. On his computer. <laughs> oh no! But this is this is content. Yeah, that's like uh, privacy policy, terms of service, right? No, no, no but like. Or no? So I think what he's trying to say is that like you post a photo, uh -huh. it should be a Creative Commons license. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So 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 yeah. So and so as I was saying before, we haven't sort of explored the realm of possibility of doing that, but we can. I hope that answers your question. Can you show some of your cat photos? <laughs> <laughs> Put them on the spot. Do you have them organized into folders? 
There are no folders yet. I don't know if this is going to be offensive. I don't know how to... God damn. Maybe just search hashtag cat on the Asperger. No, I don't know how to get this window up. How'd you get the other window up? Uh, hold on. If anybody else has a question in the meantime, you can ask it. Oh, there's, there's one more. Oh, and there's like really fast internet here too, which is great. Yeah, so many cat photos. Uh, oh well, it's not a question, mm -hmm. but uh, well, it's inspiring to see you so young and doing many stuff. That's great. I've been using Diaspora for maybe one year or more from the beginning. I like it very much. Thank you. And but there was very something very strange when I started just using uh, Google Plus. Mm -hmm. It was very similar to your philosophy, to the way that uh, the interfaces was made. The so sharing model? <laughs> I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, I mean, there's definitely sort of, there's probably inspiration that we took. Yeah, from, I think so. So yeah. I, I don't know if it was just part of my thoughts, but I thought that was some kind I mean, of we, I, I, stuff. I think, I think we felt it a little bit as well. Yeah. Um, but, but it's not, I think, I, think, I think in general, competition is better because yeah. it's sort of, um, it makes everyone like move really fast. And so, so, so I think it's a net positive, actually. The because I personally I like contextual sharing. I think I think it's totally the right way to go. All right, is there anything? But does that answer your question? Yeah, no, it was just the, that comment that maybe it was just me, but I thought it was very similar to you. Yeah, no, I think I think there's a handful of people that felt it. Yeah, we kind of thought so too. <laughs> but it's strange. The first time I just Super got strange. in there, it was the same stuff. So. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think that's a true statement. I'm not going to say anything further. Okay. I'm going to refrain. But competition is good. I don't but know. I mean, it's, 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 here's the thing, right? Like, it's a, yeah, it's just like, oh, okay, we did something right. Um, but um, at the end of the day, like, I hate to be that guy, like, bashing other people, but, like, what I don't understand. I'm not going to do this. Never mind. So, so, yeah, so let's look at cat photos. We can look at cat photos instead. Oh, one thing which is just as far as philosophy, one thing we, we like aspire to is, is it's much better to be fighting for things rather than against things. So, and this is, it comes with much of our branding. We sort of, we like, and granted the media at, at first painted the picture, like, oh, you guys are like the anti-Facebook, but, but we're actually building something that's just like way, way grander. Um, and but but in terms of like mentally between the four of us, but as a as a community as a project, I think that's a that's a very powerful way to because it's 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 taken the high road, also. Um, so but but yeah, that's sort of like thoughts about like meta, very meta things. Any more questions? Everyone's just amazed. Look at look at cubbies. So everyone should just use cubbies. Everyone should give their neighbor to the right and their neighbor to the left a diaspora invite. And uh, then you guys should all use cubbies. See, I can do this for right. Yeah. We can also play with hashtags. Let's go to hashtag. This is hashtag like French. That's the best hashtag ever, by the way. So gifts, gifts. That's the other moral of the story. Gifts are awesome. Cats are awesome. Diaspora is awesome. Diaspora plus gifts and cats. That one is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's cubbies. That's cubbies. That's cubbies. Wait, 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 go to hashtag French if you can. On diaspora. Yeah. I hope this was fun. How many of you are coming tomorrow? Supposing you hear about it. Okay, okay, that's like that's like 15, 20, over 9,000 people. That's awesome. <laughs> so so yeah, so just like all these gifts made by a handful of really awesome people. No no gifts. 
That's that's a gif. Like, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> we can we can continue scrolling through this through this stuff. Um, wait, can we search hashtag gif? I think that was a little bit more gif friendly. Oh, that that totally not work appropriate. Luckily, we're not at work. Actually, for us, it's totally work appropriate. Um, gif. Yeah, search gif. Yeah. <laughs> Shoo. No. Oh my god, it's a portal. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Totally not work appropriate. But wait, just leave it, because it's hilarious. Okay, okay. What? <laughs> is going on uh, this, guy. this guy this guy we damn it not work appropriate continue scrolling down past it you can do it penguin what's the penguin doing GIFs are like the polaroids of the internet. Honestly, they're the best. Anyway. So anyway, there's lots of cool stuff that people are making on Diaspora, off Diaspora, unicycling, falling, cats, <laughs> waving hello. Yeah, Star Wars, dancing. <laughs> So, so the ecosystem is way bigger than the four of us, as as we were saying. It's super awesome. Be on it, or be off it. No, don't be off it. Be on it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Any any more questions? Do we? Ta ta da. Yes. One more question. Yeah. Hi. I just want to ask, how hard is it to run like a diaspora pod, or like what are the previous programming skills you need to have? So, so glad you asked. Uh, they, we have a really awesome um, tutorial on how to run one. Dan can try to get to it. It's on our GitHub page slash wiki slash. Um, maybe we should just mirror the screens. Is it, no, um, it's not that hard at all. There's. Um, at, at one point, we had installation scripts, which I don't think they work anymore, but we have step-by-step -step instruction for almost every distribution. Not almost every distribution, actually. For, for all the sort of main distributions. Um, yeah, so, like we have so installing and running Diaspora, the click here. So you click there, and it's like, here are the things you need to know. So it's, it's, it's way less scary, and if you scroll up, actually, there's there's like, what do you? What kind of server are you running it on? I think, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it's a little bit down. So, ah, there. Okay, running on Ubuntu, on Debian, on Fedora, on OS X, on Windows XP. So, so there's, there's, there's very. So these, they, they look like there's a lot, but there's actually lots of different paths to go, and uh, they're very verbose, which is awesome. And that's another awesome thing that came out of community and just like people solving internet problems together. Yeah. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Cool. Well, thanks guys. We had an awesome time talking yeah. about Diaspora with you guys. It wasn't too boring. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I'm going to frame cool. this. <laughs> That's awesome. This is awesome. Yay, campus party! Woo, woo. Yeah! I wish I could whistle, I like can. <laughs> Let's play some video games. Let's play some video games. Or something. Yay! Cool.